Hello, I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman, and I'm with a patient of mine. This is Ms. Peterson. Thank you for being on the video with us today. Uh, she came to my clinic back in January of 2017. This is now uh, May 22nd of 2017. And one major symptom, one major reason why she came here is because of interstitial cystitis. Yes. And that was chronic for how many years? Oh my goodness. Well, 35 years I calculate diagnosed, but prior to that, I've probably had it since my late teens. Late teens. Yeah. And another condition that you had was a chronic arm pain. It was a neck and arm pain? Yes, going from my left side of my neck through my left arm. I was in terrible pain for almost three months. And how intense was that pain on a scale of zero to 10? If 10 is the worst. How 11. Of it? 11. <laughs> and it was constant? Constant, 24-7. I woke up with it. Yes, went to bed with it. Yes. Okay. And another uh, issue that we're working with, if I can come out and just say, you're brave, an emotional stress that you have? Absolutely. OCD I suffer from. OCD. And so while we haven't really, we didn't get into that, that wasn't the main issue why she came here. It was more of the neck pain, arm pain, and the bladder problem right. was the initial part of our workup. And right now, after you started uh, this protocol, you're for the interstitial cystitis, and you worked on that in the first round, as well as clearing out your stem cells, mm -hmm. as well as clearing out the kidneys, and the bladder to some degree, because there was more that came up in this exam today. But your, how would you say the uh, bladder condition that you've had for, for these decades, how would you say that you're dealing with it or what you're feeling now? What kind of relief? Well, right now, since the protocol I've been doing, which has been three months, um, I have had marked improvement. I did have a setback for about a week with a urine infection, but I have to say that if you want to say it was the best one I've ever had, I didn't have the severe burning and pain as much. And when I did go through the course of the infection, which was about a week, I came out on the other side not symptomatic with the um, interstitial cystitis like I usually does, and it lasts for weeks. That didn't happen. It just, like a switch, it turned off. And I don't have any symptoms at all right now. Mm -hmm. And how frequent were those symptoms before, uh, even that with that UTI? Now again, that UTI happened, it was right in the beginning of, pretty much in the beginning of when you started the protocol. Yes. So we didn't even have enough time in that first protocol to clear everything out before that came up. Exactly. So it's, yeah, so, uh, uh, so that was still something that you were actually dealing with when we first entered that protocol. Yes. Uh, so how frequent, again, the, the interstitial cystitis complaints were, the, the symptoms for you, were was it burning? Mm -hmm. Was yeah, they were pretty much pain? nonstop, the, the pressure and the intermittent burning mm -hmm. and kind of spasming that I had. Was there urgency and frequency that was part of yours? The uh, urgency was there, mostly urgency, mm -hmm. yes. It always felt like I had pressure and I, I had to go, but I didn't. You, and now we have no pressure. I have no pressure. It, and you don't feel like you have to go. No, Except for it, have to go, it, but. <laughs> it, it's just weird. It just feels like everything has just been turned off and I, I don't know what normal is, but I think this is normal <laughs> that I okay. feel. And the arm pain and the neck pain went from an 11 to where it is now? It's down to almost ground zero. I've had a couple of short episodes within three months, I think two to three times, but I could almost ignore the pain. And then like maybe a day or two it would continue, but it's, it's dissipated for the whole Okay, and you also mentioned about your head feeling a lot clearer. My thought process is a lot clearer. And you being able to be by yourself and have... Yes, I always had those, those feelings of being alone with my own thoughts would cause a lot of anxiety and then the obsessions and I don't have that like I did before. I can be alone, I can occupy myself with other things besides my own head. And uh, I, I just feel a lot brighter. I don't awesome. know, I feel like I have an outlook. Awesome. We went through, if I could share in that first round, we went through clearing up. There were several infections inside the stem cells which make the blood. They're called hematopoietic stem cells. There were several infections that were cleared up. Also in her veins, there was infection, including Lyme. Uh, in the kidneys, there was infection. There was also mercury. 
Uh, in the smooth muscle, there was fungus in the urethra, in the nerves that go to the bladder. Uh, there was infection in the specific nerves that go to the bladder, in the urethra, in the bladder, and so on. And that was cleared up in the first round. And that, and that protocol lasted for over three months. And what you did hear her say was she had that UTI that came up, but that was very much in the very beginning of when she did this protocol, which is back in January. Uh, so now the relief has been extended for these three or so months. You had no pressure. None. None. Zero. Zero. If this is a reality now. Yeah, yeah. it's a strange reality, but it's a reality and it, it feels good. It's strange, but it feels good. Yeah. We still had more infection that came up in this round uh, uh, in the bladder. Uh, but this should be the end of the whole process for her to to have uh, and she's relieved already but i'm still digging deeper to make sure that we have relief and make sure that this is not just some some gap where it comes back we've got to clean out the tissues there are infections coming from the jaw coming from the stomach and a few other areas in the body here that we're working on to make sure that it's clean and that nothing else is going to wash through uh, from other parts of the body to wash through the bladder and cause a re, you know, uh, bladder kind of uh, infection or re, or I should say reinfection of the bladder or some other kind of uh, uh, exacerbation or re, you know, type of, uh, how can we say, more symptoms come on of the interstitial cystitis. We've got to clean the grounds. It's not just the bladder that we're dealing with to clean this up. There are other areas of infection that we've got to clean up, but you're pretty happy with this? I'm pretty happy. Okay. Is it a reality that women out there who have been told for years that they've suffered with interstitial cystitis, as you know, because you've had it since you're a, pretty much a teenager. Yes. Yeah. Is it, what, do, what would you tell them who are waiting or who still think that there is no reality that they can get relief from the interstitial cystitis? Is there any comment that you can give, any thought you want to share? I would say, please have faith, hang in there, see Dr. Herman. He's got the solution here. I didn't think this was possible, but I came in here with an open mind. Mm. I didn't know what to expect, and I still felt like this can't be a reality, but I'm living the reality yes. right now. Thank you. I love awesome. it. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You can, I'll put the number up on the, uh, on the uh, screen here and the email for my office clinic assistant. You can call, you can get an appointment, and I can help you get well also. You do not have to live with this interstitial cystitis condition. And there are other pains in the body that you can watch on my YouTube channel uh, and, and learn about ways that we can actually help to clean out your body. And this works. And there was no medication that we provided. There's not a med. There's not an anti-inflammatory that we provided, <laughs> right? There are specific remedies that removed the causes of the condition. And this is proof that you can get well. So thank you very much for sharing this. You're quite welcome. All right. And uh, thank you. And we'll see you soon.